Hello, ladies, gents, and whispering demons gone mad. We return to the wonderful mountains of madness, where nothing bad ever happens. Apparently, really, nothing really all that bad has happened, because it's just a very peaceful environment. Now and then, we get assaulted by hideous monstrosities in the name of freaking furries. But other than that, it has been extremely easy so far. I mean, there was a few mood breaks. Bruh. Filthy Heathen has had a mental breakdown. It's going to vent her anger on your animals. This, it is not a Are you kidding me? <laughs> She's not even, nobody's gonna get to her air. All the boomalos are gonna explode. What are you, some kind of idiot? And Hike has no, uh, all she has is her fists. Filthy Heathen is actually going to win this battle. Will she slaughter more than one? We can lose one Boomalope. We can even lose two Boomalopes. She better not slaughter all of them. Or she's going to the freaking Gulag. Okay. Meg, get out there. Just a Phasma and go up there. And Hike, like she's going to try to punch Filthy Heathen, but... Uh, she might get cut down because of uh, the heathen's incredible ability to use a sword. Probably will not even get there in, in time to save this boomalo. You absolute idiot. You absolute moron. And she's not even done. She's still slaughtering. What are you? A moron? Stop. Ike is gonna stop you. Go, go. He's gonna punch your head. Uh. <laughs> I mean, she's burning. She's walking around and burning. Here comes Meg to put down this filthy animal slaughter. Can't freaking believe it. At least we get some food out of it. <laughs> some freaking meat. Uh, maybe just put. There you go. Well done, Meg. Well done. Just teach her the value of our ways. Dumbass! She has no idea what she's doing is the problem, you know? Okay, just rescue filthy heathen. You get no damn... No... Oh, man, oh, man. Uh, this, this boomalo is also... Also... What you mean, tending? <sighs> it's in the home area. She should be able to extinguish... Mm, not reachable under animal bed. Let me just get miscellaneous uh, animal bed. Animal bed. No, it's furniture. For some reason, animal sleeping spot. We're gonna put them over here. May as well make them medical. Rescue. Move, Jesse. <laughs> what is going on? Everybody, get uh, out here so they can. Okay, actually, it's going to re get rescued by murder thrust. What a trusty little animal. You can count a murder thrust to do things right. That is so obnoxious. <laughs> Mental health is perhaps one of the most upsetting, even when, even worse than when they try to kill each other. It's like, don't go slaughter animals. That makes me want to put you in prison and torture you. Take away all your organs and take away your legs. Maybe a one arm. Just as punishment. You will not learn the lesson, but boy, will I be satisfied with your freaking punishment. Okay, it's, uh, she being uh, taken to the place. Where'd she go? Oh, okay, she's being taken to the place. Where's uh, Evan Dallas? Fendamas, you're actually just sitting here waiting to be tended instead of tending yourself. It's so upsetting, brother. <laughs> it's so freaking upsetting. Blargo, how about you stop sleeping? I need you to come out here. I need you to come out here and uh, tend to some buffoons that are too damn stupid. To keep the damn peace. If that's going to solve your problems, to start slaughtering. What are you doing using the good medicine? 
Bruh. <laughs> I actually use no medicine. No medicine. Deserves nothing. We'll put a bandage on the burns. Just don't get it wet, okay? Uh, idiot. Please read a stunt to heal. You absolute dumbass. There you go. Uh, not romance, no. This, this creature doesn't deserve to be romanced. It deserves to be kicked in the freaking cunt. It deserves a big cunt punt for what she's done. Ooh, compacted steel. Okay, I'm really ready. My poor banana is still just sleeping out there. Starvation and filthy heathen. It's all right. She's gonna eat. Uh, how's everybody else doing? How is buddy, everybody else is doing? Uh, uh, be sure. Let me make sure everybody is actually not suffering from horrible conditions that I have not even looked at. Man, Crack Like Bavia has a, a number of scars. They build character. It's happy to have them. All right. Jesse Fassman. I mean, you are in the old age. It's a rough time. Infection in front leg. Oh, well. Blargo. Maybe. You can tend to this boomalope. You can even use herbal medicine. Is this fence ever going to get built? I don't know. That's really not that big of a priority. It is a priority. It's not that big one. Is there maybe heal root all over the place? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There often is. Let me just harvest everything that's available. Because we need it. All right. Great stuff. Ah, I, ah. I thought that I had... Oh, I think I didn't link them. Aha, uh -huh, I did not link them. I'm like, I thought that I had configured these shelves. I just never linked them. All right, Crack Like Vagva is actually doing some art. I didn't realize that he was so inclined. Artistic 7, yeah, I guess he is. I was like, oh man, Break Soul is being a total fat wart. And uh, he's all the way over there. He was like my artist guy, but no. He's just 7. He's just really passionate about it. He fooled me with his passion. And fooled me into thinking he was talented. But he's uh, completely trash at it. I mean, he's not trash, but he's not the greatest either. I can't wait to have a proper storage area once this is all nicely dug out. By the way, where's Meg? She's the one that's supposed to be digging. There she is, she's doing her thing. Uh, also, Hike needs her maze back. It should be somewhere over here. Maybe they put it in shelves. I bet they put it in shelves. Uh, the middle? It's a freaking knife over there. Did we leave it outside? Bruh. Where'd she go down? Did she go down over here? Meh. At some point, you must come out of there and equip it. All this stuff needs to be hauled. Right now. I might super prioritize hauling. We got so much food. We got wake up. We got low shield pack. This is the number one priority. I want... What are you even doing? Just hauling st steel to a lamp, huh? Come out here and haul this shield pack. It is super high value. Everything else is, you know, fine. I, I don't want it gone, but it's okay for it to take a little while. After you equip that, you can haul the packages. And I would like that wake up. Oh, baby, is that my wife? Did you hear the message? Did you hear the message? On my way home, she is coming home, baby. Let's play this for a little bit longer, and then I shall go prepare for her arrival. Everything must be tidy. There can be not a moat of dust anywhere. I can't. I must put away the laundry. I must do so many things before she gets home. She'll, she'll bring out the cane. So, you know, gotta be certain that the house is in tip-top shape before she arrives. I don't want to get the cane anymore. Meditation spot, huh? We're we're building you a nice little uh, sculpture that you can you can meditate at. Let's create more power sources. I don't know why I'm separating them by a tile. It doesn't make 
any sense whatsoever. Like, it serves no purpose to separate them by a towel. All I'm doing is just wasting space. I'll probably be really sad that I did it at some point. Definitely need some shells over here. How much? We finally have some rocks. So let's get some sandstone shelves set up all over the place. Feels great. Feels great to finally have some shelves. Uh, we'll have a small one over there too. There you go. And now we will put these two. Oops, select one. Storage. Clear everything. You put the meals in this one. Link. And then you basically just copy these settings. Paste. And link. There. Carry on. Oh, yeah. Waste bags. We need to do something about that. Mm. The expansion of the pantry will go this way. I guess we could just dig this out. And create a waste bag freezer. We could also use this area right here. Once it's finally taken care of. Filthy heathen. I don't think so. I don't think so, Filthy Heathen. Actually, who's the lowest? How about you, Banana? Would you like a master work bed? You have earned it, buddy. Where are you? Banana. There you go. You get the master work bed. You are an MVP. You have earned your keep, earned your place. Definitely need that. The reason why those are not being built is because I don't got no freaking wood. Get some more trees chopped there you go please Bargo construct this dam hey nice and we just get rid of this now nice uh, construct this uh, this fence do it these poor bastards are starving how's that infection going not major stupid why is, why is major stupid just sleeping on top of the other one it's no sense. Thing with animals, their infection goes up much, much faster than your usual colonist. I mean, uh, banana is just not having a grand, grand old time, but at least it gets freaking sleep accelerator. It's working out pretty nicely. We really want the trees to be chopped down. Put all the steel. Oh, yeah, baby. Put it in the shelves. Actually, I'm out of shelf space. This area has been it's a little too small a little too small for my purposes so without that steel hey we have one of these that comes console fantastic let me dig that out uh, it's time it's time to create a production center it has been freaking awful maybe also some gestators Definitely a large gestator. Holy crap, it's huge! Let's put it right there. And then there's a four tile slot. Why not? Put it right there. I'm gonna not have enough room here. Let's have a regular mech gestator. Like so. Eh, that's better. There you go. Have some mechanoid power going on because we do want to make a new one. Buddy, we're gonna have all this good stuff. It's about time. Is this, is this damn fence built yet? Yeah, holy crap! Why does it take so long? Because I'm building beds, is what I'm doing. The, the, the frame rate is just pretty bad. I don't know why. The frame rate is ass right now. Is there something weird going on with this? I guess it's only when I speed it up. When I am at a decent speed, it, it does smooth out. Anyway, I don't know why I have this orbital trade beacon here when there's no power. Let's create a storage area. This is just outrageous that we don't have one. So the mechs go there. We're going to have production. Production and storage. That will be just dwellings over there. Let's make something like this. We'll keep going. 
you know, having a nice long hallway, it's always nice. There's going to be more stuff down here, I don't know what. But I definitely want the production area to be on this. This corner of the world. Let's open this up. Like a 10 by 10. And I always run out of storage. Or you should make it bigger. Mm. Yeah, I like that. Shells have been such a boon. I really appreciate shelves existing. Jesse Fassman, are you doing all right? Just muscle parasites, not, the, not a big deal. But man, with, between being frail, muscle parasites, your ugly face, and how old you are, you're sure disappointing, filthy heathen. Uh, where are you? You still have catharsis, but you're ass. Still, anyway, <laughs> you're awful. See if we can get some conversions going on your ass. Maybe that way, once you join my ideology. Rustica's diplomacy, uh huh. I still like a refugee emperor. I sent us a message. She wants to talk with us in a nearby location. Could be a great opportunity to improve relations. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, hello there. It's a brand new splash screen. At some point, he's going to do something. This far, huh? That's not too far. That's not too far. We can send Blargo over there and make friends with the Empire. They, they, we have punished them enough. I think we have done enough enmity with the Empire. It is time to shake hands, work together for the betterment of mankind in general. So how about, Blargo is such a valuable member of the colony though. I really don't know if I should send him. His social is also kind of ass. Let me look at that quest again. Superficial Peace Talks. Negotiator. You send your leader to handle the negotiations. Sure. Sure. Let's do it. Let's do it right now. Let's do it with gusto. Let's form a caravan. Go to the Peace Talks. I don't really have anything to trade just yet. We'll send Blargo, and we're not stupid enough to just send him on by himself. He's going to have some backup. Let's send um, Effin Damas and his elephants, just in case. Just in case. Let me let me uh, get back. By the way, let me. It's animals. Effin Damas has murder, murder thrust and cyber trunk. Murder thrust, cyber trunk. All right, Th those are the OGs. Let's create that for a caravan. There you go. Let's go with Blargo and Effin Damis. Dynamic duel. Cannot be stopped. Cyber Trunk and Murder Thrust. Oh man, you're pregnant. Uh, you'll be fine. And uh, no mechs will go with us. And do, 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 do. any items? Not really. Let me, let me uh, make sure this is done. All right, there you go. Send it over. Sure. Uh, I do need to manually, let's see, unowned, uninstall, not assigned to building, huh? Not assigned to building, huh? Not assigned to building, huh? <laughs> right, man, do it! Let's get you doing that. And then we can, whatever else he's doing, he can load the bedroll. Because there was only one available. What? What? Ragman is sad. What is his problem? Man, he's hungry. The hungry moron. And now he's not sad anymore because there's food in his belly. People are not very bright. <laughs> the problem that these colonies have, they're just not that bright. Hey, we got some extra beds, baby. All right, banana. Get off my, my masterful bed. Off with you. Freaking T Rose deserves a masterful bed. So he gets special treatment. We got an excellent one over here. You can have that. Banana. Let's assign this one to the other OGs. Actually, Ragman, you can have this one. You're not feeling all that great. So you can have a bedroom of your own. It is a nasty, awful trash bedroom. But it's still better than having the awful trash barracks that we have set up. So, you know. 
it is an improvement, even though the improvement is pretty damn marginal. All right, it's been... Oh, oh. Karma has form, it's out. All right. I'm going to have to interrupt the recording. I must prepare the, the arrival of the spouse, lest I get the cane. All right, all right, all right. I'm back several hours later, all fed. I'm ready, rearing to get back into this wonderful pile of nonsense. I was exploring this quest that is available, the threat pods. I, was, I keep reading, it's like, where is the threat in these pods? Mech nodes are not the things that, that call down mechs. They're not. They are. These are just the little resources nuggets. So the only real threat out of this is the mech capsule and the assemblers. The assemblers take forever. And of course, then the four sluggers It's like, uh, I can do this with two blind idiots and hike with her hands tied to the back. So I'm going to accept this. Okay. Oh, it even comes with people. I didn't even read that part. Oh yeah, two archers. Two archers coming. All right, combo and combo. <laughs> Very original, wonderful things. All right, well, I'm looking forward to... There it is. There it is. Okay, it's just dropping down. In the middle of the map, pretty much. How bad of a drone is this? Medium, which is like 22 or something stupid like that, but look at this thing. This is the, the really the only threat, and whatever's inside this capsule should be able to destroy the crap out of this. Is it dormant, though? That is the question. Can I just approach it? I have... Look at the even... It's even dormant! It has disease going on! Everybody needs to come in. Filthy Heathen, where are you going? Oh, yeah. I queued up you for, for you to grab a machine gun. All right, so everybody... And combo and camba. <laughs> Let's go out there. Also, need to bring over the EMPs. Uh, who can grab them that is not... Uh, you know how melee is not that great against mechs? Although, depending on what's in there, right? But let's give Meg. No, she has a shield. Um, Ragman. Ragman, for sure. Should carry the... EMP grenades and from there you can continue going up don't get too close I don't know it doesn't even have a proximity thing it, it, it'll wake up once I attack it I believe so this is like the easiest quest of all time which is ridiculous absolutely ridiculous how easy this is are the elephants coming yeah yeah they're coming Banana is not big. Why is banana going so slow? Because he has muscle parasites, that's why. Moving 66% because of the stupid ass parasites. Because damn, uh, freaking Jesse. Oh, she's also has, with the parasites, she's gonna take forever to. You know what, Jesse? I uh, think. Uh, how about you sit this one out? Just clean up the base. Do what you gotta do way back here. Make yourselves useful. Otherwise. Okay, filthy heathen, let me just draft the crap out of you. And we're going to go close. Mm, do I even want... Let's get, let's get back here for now. I want Ragman to come over. Is he really that far back? Because his stupid mech, uh, muscle parasites. Who, who's who's going to... Oh, man. Are you gonna make it? <laughs> Are you gonna be okay? Do you have a, a meal on you? You do. Let's have you eat it. That way your mood will go up considerably. We really need to set up the research here. I I've been neglecting some really basic stuff. Okay, that m should hopefully hold him over mood-wise. Really, I, I'm, I think I'm respecting it too much. I should just move in, shoot things down. Eliminate whatever thing here it even comes with unstable power cells. We must endeavor not to have these destroyed. What would be the best way to ensure that? Probably attacking from this side. And of course we're going to use smoke so we don't even get targeted. 
I know that at least one of them has smoke. I think it's T Rose, maybe banana. Are we too close? I am a little weary. Maybe from up here. I just don't want the crossfire to. You know, the. Yeah, crossfire, right? Crossfire is the word that I'm looking for. Don't get too close, banana. Go that way. Where's Ragman? Holy crap, you take forever. Banana and Ruffle Stump have formed a bond somehow. They, they were just going around, just walking. They talked to each other about how much they enjoy their trunks being oiled up and shoved up people's buttholes. And they both uh, share a mutual passion. Uh, Kamba and Combo, you guys are going to be our, uh, let's say, frontliners. <laughs> let's put it that way. And I'm pretty sure it's banana. Yeah, pop smoke. So there you go. Oh, we should definitely be a little bit further from from this turret, lest it explode. What? Well, that's not what I intended. Oh, Jesus! Okay, <laughs> that one. Instead of shooting it, just punch it. That way, it will not obliterate us with its attacks. Ragman. You are falling slightly behind. How about you f shoot the freaking EMP grenade right there? Did not. What? I may have underestimated what would happen if I attack a freaking turret for too close. <laughs> My beautiful Tussmaster. It was a fully. Man, it just. It destroyed its liver. <laughs> what the hell? Was he a fully trained elephant? That is just tragic. That's freaking tragic. Fine. Uh, actually, you can just go over there and just smash it. Hike. Use your incredible jumping abilities to smash the crap out of this centipede. These idiots, they don't need to die. If they die, no skin off my back, but they don't need to die. There you are. What happened? Oh, okay. The, the EMP grenade has been thrown. You can come over this way. Is there even... There's no need to do that, right? We can just obliterate it when we get there. When we get to it. Oh, come on. Why are you targeting Hike? You have perfectly... Perfectly... Valid... Worthless targets. Don't turn around and bump on onto Hike. It's freaking bullshit. Man, what is the deal with these damn turrets exploding? Really don't appreciate it. Well, combo combo is down. Combo will be next. Get away from. Stop it. Hike just can't can't help herself. She just wants to attack. There you are. Much better. Smash it. And I really want you to destroy. Yeah, I finally one that doesn't explode. That's the one that I wanted to explode. Just just fire fire a centipede. I'll just I'll move you over there. Maybe over here. Get yourself uh, firing? No? Oh, you are wearing a freaking shield belt, of course. Durr. Okay, it's dead. Just drop the shield belt and somebody else will wear it eventually. Is everything dead? Everything is dead. Ragman. Okay, everybody can... How about... Yeah, you, you can eat. That's fine. Let me just attack this. Grave digger <laughs> had a little bit of a problem there getting wrecked. I eh, just punch it, just punch it. Kamba combo is ready to leave this horrible place. Make sure that this thing goes down as soon as possible. We uh, oh, really could I use that markman's marksman command? I don't know how many. Freaking health points does this thing have? Holy crap. Tiros, attack, attack. Your attacks are the most important. Hey, very nice. Incredible. No, just deck. Incredible reward. I really should respect the friendly fire. In the form of these power generators. That's awesome. Oh, 
Oh yeah, baby. That's awesome. I am very sad. I am honestly sad about the elephant going down for no reason. There was zero reason for that to happen. I just uh, didn't realize it would explode so violently. All right, uh, let's claim these and claim that and then uninstall, uninstall. Hike can do it. And the spoils of battle shall be retrieved in due time. The geese there is nowhere around here, right? What is it? Uh, filthy heathen? It's too far. It's too far. No conversion. Uninstall these. Oh yeah, and of course. Pods arrived. We have grabbed, we have uh, received whatever the hell that what is it? Hellcat rifle? Look at that. Another shield core. Definitely gonna build this as soon as possible. In fact, prioritize holding that. Prioritize holding that. And I want combo. Before you die, how about you haul my, my unstable thing? I'm sure you'll make it. Don't worry about it. I am certainly not planning to eat you or anything. Not, not at all. Not gonna happen. I am sure it will not be delicious with ketchup. And condiments! All descriptions. Okay, uh, uh, usual. I really should take stock of who got hurt. Did not realize that. Freaking Ragman got pretty wrecked. Everybody else seems to be doing okay. These damn parasites are just so obnoxious. Okay, Ragman, you really need to make it to the infirmary. And uh, also Gravedigger. They need to get themselves healed. Mother-in-law, are you... Holy crap. This needs to be healed. Where is... Oh, we sent effing Damas away. That was a slight, mi slight mistake. <laughs> Small mistake. We do have Jessie as our doctor. Where her manipulation is ass garbage. She should be able to self-tend, though. Um, we really don't have... Any good doctors? I really should not. Have, I did not realize that I was sending away all of my doctors. T Rose is decent. Let's allow her to doctor for the time being. I will make sure to prioritize her doctoring, and in fact, tend to mother-in-law. Very concerned. Combo, you'll make it. Don't worry about it. Don't have a single concern. Maybe I should... Oh, yeah, the legendary Hellcat Rifle. Let me see the damage on that. Days on combo. Yeah, well, whatever. Uh, damage 15. That is not amazing, but it, it, per, if it's per bullet and it shoots a lot, fire rate 360 rounds per minute. So one a second? No. Six per second, right? That's decent. That's decent. Three. It's like a rifle. So it's, it's pretty powerful, I would say. It's freaking legendary. And they can also be like a flamethrower kind of thing. So, Ragman, just go rest. Who will wield this incredible piece of technology? Let me compare it with a uh, good assault rifle. Damage 11. Has to be for freaking banana. Where are you going? At? Banana, you're doing that now, right? So let's uh, equip that Hellcat. Rifle. And... Uh, Heroes. It just needs to be patched up. It's all that needs to happen. Now Tiro's gonna get the hell out of there. Calling this rescue. It's just combo. Who the hell cares about this moron? What a piece of garbage. We'll uh, rescue him later. Put him in a real nice, tasty marinade. And then his flesh. But then it has collapsed due to ex <laughs> exhaustion. <laughs> Poor bastard. Just pushed himself to the limit. Do you still have a bed in here? You don't. Your bed is over all the way over here. Can you even make it? Uh, you have enough now to make it. You you can definitely make it. Don't be such a pussy. Okay, T-Rose, you really need to be the hero here. Start with Gravedigger, then Ragman. Hopefully there will be no infections because an infection could be a real problem without a, an actual doctor in here. 
Where, how far away are they? They're still on the way to the dumbass peace talks. I knew it. I knew the damn empire would be a problem, even indirectly. Scum. Really want to open up this secret. Not secret, but this ancient danger. It's going to be absolutely awesome when that happens. Because hopefully it will give me a pile of armor. I am hoping for some ancients in there. Really hoping for that. Okay, he has been patched up. Hopefully will not get infected. And this ragman wound shall be patched up. I really want so many things. <laughs> There's so many things I freaking want. Do we even <clears throat> have a warden right now? Yeah, Hike can take care of this wardening. It is very nice. We are starting to, like, this is starting to, you know, get to that point where it is indeed a colony and not a pit of despair. It's going to be this fence, this fence, it's paramount. Otherwise, these boomalobes will... What's this? Was this always here? Fallen monolith. I would have noticed if it was... It wasn't... Twisted lines carved into the surface from a disturbing... Form a disturbing pattern. Investigate to learn more. A monolith of unknown age, purpose and construction. Its smooth surface is etched with lines that twist and writhe in unsettling patterns. Void mod meditation type, all right. Uh, well, it is part of the anomaly expansion, but I would have noticed this thing if it was here before. Is is it maybe uh, does it like randomly spawn or something? Is it part of the the strange signals quest? It will just eventually like mysteriously spawn it in the in the map. That's that's pretty creepy. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Alright, well, uh, not gonna touch it. Not gonna touch it just yet. Uh, we are reeling from terrible things. A hey, oh, peace talks success. Look at that. The talks were a success. The delegates reached a new mutual understanding on several substantial issues. Relations with the refugee empire have improved by 66. Largo, your negotiator, has gained 6,000 social experience. Gained four honor. Mm-mm-mm. That is amazing. I am sure that he is so ready. Do I want to send him off to trade over here? What does he even have? Do they have any needs? I mean, any items? I did give them a little bit of money. This is just not worth sending them to trade for. Just be silly. Just go back to the mountain of mad mountains of madness and uh, see if you can maybe get back in time to treat the inevitable infections that are going to ravage this population. Royal Ascent. Yes, indeed. How about I just put you in the trash right now because you are something that I will never do, but I am very happy, very happy that the Empire, once more, trusts me with perhaps even uh, sending another envoy. Perhaps giving me another two, another chance of becoming a Psyker. Do I want you to be using good medicine for Kamba? Pretty sure I do not. Can't believe you just wasted some good medicine. Okay, it wasn't... Not even one went off, so it's all good. It's all good. I was enormously pissed for a second there, thinking that this moron used the good medicine. They really, like... When somebody comes around, they really... This should not be the default. Uh, that's why there's a button that says change defaults. <laughs> Is that a new one? <laughs> Is that new? Has that been there for a while? I think they added that in the latest patch. Uh, certainly. Certainly. Just leaving herbal. That is great. Uh, ghouls, I see. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if I can have an army of ghouls at some point. Apparently they can be treated. Ah, I'm looking forward to these unstable power cells. All right. Combo has died, and but don't worry, he'll be reborn once he becomes part of our bellies. Get some 
doors. Get some beds. And we will eventually be all fully equipped. I believe that I'm going to need more wood. We should be making them out of stone, honestly. But we have tons and tons and tons of wood. Let's make a cubby hole for the power cells. Let's know that they are extremely volatile. What we can do is we're going to mine, mine right here. And we're going to embed them into the wall. There you go. They will be beautifully embedded in there. We will install them and then build a wall behind it. Okay, Fastman is in, uh, entertaining herself. Treating Kamba not like it matters. wonder if they'll just leave. Too many, too many freaking... Too many freaking messages. Midday in battle without consequence. Feed and house them. Once the quest is complete, did they just leave? Accepted? I mean, it's still active for some reason. I think they just leave. I don't know. Banana. Okay, it's just the muscle parasites. I was like, oh shit, they get infected or something, but no, it's all good. All right, well, I am uh, very much looking forward to clicking on this thing and investigate the monolith, but not yet. I really feel I need to take care of some basics here first. Oh yeah, look at all those mushrooms. It's uh, it's not right to do it. At least Blargo should be here. Why is there the no filth area not properly configured? Why are there elephants inside of my home? Is maybe Stump Master not assigned to the no filth area? Let me see, animals. Yeah, they're all no filth. It's okay. It's okay. We are getting a new elephant. The new Tusk Master. Tusk Master the second. There you are. Already, once again, the, the time just... Volcanic winter infection. <laughs> so about to go off on the screen of, you know, go to the master work bed. I was about to say something, and then I got entirely... Oh, jeez. <laughs> Temperatures will drop and plants will suffer for lack of sunlight. Not my mushrooms. Not my mushrooms, but the heel root. I don't know if the heel root will actually survive it. The volcanic winter. How wonderful. A volcanic winter. How, how great to get a... I mean, better than a freaking toxic fallout. I will not bitch, because... At least is not toxic fallout. So I'm going to say, you know what, volcanic winter, sure, we'll just uh, we'll just bundle up, put on a freaking coat, and we'll get through this dumbass volcanic winter in no time. Scav grave digger going to the master war bed, and uh, how is your your manipulation right now? Thirty three percent. Better to have T Rose do it. Where is she? She's in the busy in the kitchen as she should be. It is her freaking job. Come down here and get this infection treated. We will definitely give it good medicine. Tend to grave digger. Do it right. Do it right. 91%. That's good. The medicine quality makes such a giant difference. Is uncanny. All right. I'm gonna leave it here. Next episode, we may finally engage with this atrocious anomaly. Although there are still a lot of basic things that I need to take care of, but uh, the more fun, the merrier, right? The more chaos, the more hilarity will ensue. Let us peer inside this ominous structure. <laughs>